This is the latest I have started recording a video in a long time. It's after four o'clock, and I bet I try to get my videos up, you know, quarter to five to five thirty, sometime in that range. So by the time I'm finished processing this, it'll be ready to go live. Anyway, the title that I finally came up with is "Religion and Politics Are Mostly Fraud." Well, I was really hoping to do a video with Aristo. However, that will not happen until this weekend. <laughs> Shucks. So. On a very busy day, I finally decided to share my thoughts in relation to the video I recommended on my Facebook page earlier today. That video is New Age Bullshit by Mark Passio. He begins by talking about the uh, separation of our thinking based on right and left hemispheres of the brain. One side controls the inter intellect, the other intuition. We all have both, but in our controlled culture, intellect is dominant. This creates an imbalance that results in many distortions. Our human experience will never reach the equilibrium needed to bring peace to earth and stop the insanity unless we wake up to the deception heaped upon us by control freaks whose mechanisms will inevitably result in cataclysm. Earth can survive, but the world of humans cannot tolerate more of the misguided leadership many are finally beginning to notice. Hopefully the brainwashing is failing, including the fraudulent and disempowering practices and beliefs inserted into both religion and politics. <laughs> Indeed, uh, I don't watch very many videos that I actually watch the video. This is an exception. It's an hour and, I don't know, an hour and 20 minutes or something like that. Uh, I, I don't have the time memorized of how long it is actually, but I actually sat in front of the computer and watched it. Now, normally when somebody's talking, I will get away from the computer because I try to limit my time on the computer. And uh, I do that by, if it's something to read, I have the, uh, the reader read it to me, a bona reader read it to me, and if it's a video, I just listen. I, I strongly dislike videos that you have to read, uh, and, I, and if it's a long one, forget it. It, it just isn't going to happen. Uh, but in this case, uh, he was actually showing things on a, on a screen, uh, and I was following along with it, and it's worth it's, it, I, I highly recommend it. It's worth looking at, especially, especially for those of you that have bought in to the, to the new religions that were created by the Illuminati because the old religions were failing. People were moving away from the mainstream religions. And, I, and I, I look at the church that I go to. I mean, they've, for a long time, they've had two services. Well, uh, by the end of this month or the beginning of next month, they're going to have only one service every Sunday instead of two. And uh, the, ch the big church, the huge church that I went to when I first moved to, uh, to, to Melbourne, Florida area, the uh, Tabernacle, they're down not only to only having one service, but they don't even, they're lucky if they get 30 or 40 people to come to a Sunday morning service, and it's a room that can seat a thousand people. <laughs> you know, way, way grossly oversized for the for the amount of people that attend the that attend the services. So mainstream religions are collapsing, but they've created these these new thought, new age religions. And folks, I want you to know something. I've been very attracted to unity and science of mind. My alternative mother, Dr. Mary Horgan, she was a, the first woman minister and a science of mind minister. This is new thought. This is, the, this is some of the things that, uh, that Mark Passio is talking about uh, in his video. And it, I'm probably going to go back and actually watch it again. If I had time, I would have done it before I started this video so that it would be fresh in my mind before recording. But I really, I bet I've had such a busy day today 
that I don't have time to, uh, to do that. But in any case, I highly recommend that video. And, and I have a, one of my friends who is a, a, a New Thought a music minister traveling all over the, the country, uh, you know, with the New Thought songs and stuff. He, he said he's going to actually read it. And I wish every one of my friends uh, would be open-minded enough to consider what Mark is saying and to consider the result of some of these belief systems that have been put in place uh, by uh, by the controllers, by the would-be controllers to get people, to keep people from standing up for our natural rights. That's what the whole thing with Mark is about. We have natural God-given rights that are being waived because we believe a false religion. And if you don't, if you haven't noticed, politics is also mostly fraud. I mean, look at Hillary Clinton. I mean, this lady is obviously and noticeably insane. She has, she's sick and so is Bill. And there's all sorts of information coming out about them but there's still some people that are trying to put her in the White House. Uh, she's, uh, that would be an absolute disaster. I'm not going to say at this point that Donald Trump is the, uh, is the solution, but I am going to say that Donald Trump would be a step in the right direction. Uh, at least he's not uh, as controlled by the, uh, Illuminati and the dark forces as Hillary would be and as Obama has been and the Clintons of course they have the history the Bushes have the history you know there hasn't been anybody that's tried to do some right things since Jimmy Carter and uh, Ronald Reagan and they actually tried to do some some good things and tried to be honest and of course before that we had uh, Jack Kennedy who who and Eisenhower even warned us about the military industrial complex. This is the control grid that's trying to take away your rights and my rights. And if we don't wake up, we're going to lose the human race on earth because that's their game plan. Their game plan is to destroy 95% of the world's population. That includes you, you that are in uniform, you soldiers, you cops, you people that have been hired by these people, you think they're going to protect you? <laughs> they don't care. One iota about you, not at all. In fact, many of the people that have served in the military, they're trying to get their guns away. And of course, they've been, been subjected to all sorts of chemical inoculations and stuff like that and brain control training. And, and you know, it's ridiculous if you open your eyes and open your mind to what's going on in the world. It's time for us as humans to wake up and stick together. We can do it. We can overcome this evil cabal, but we can only do it by standing together and recognizing that you and I are the truth. Our full being is the truth. We need to be awakened in our masculine and feminine side. Each of us, whether we're male or female, makes no difference. We need to be reawakened and we need to have those codons turned on. And we have not because we ask not. We need to ask our Heavenly Father, the actual truthful creator of everything before the mess came into being, before, before God allowed Lucifer to become the God of this world and mess with everything and brainwash us all. We need to get back to that. Pray to the creator to help you to integrate the opposites, to become fully man, fully woman with your masculine and feminine characteristics integrated so that they, there is balance and wholeness and so that we can together create peace on earth, and get beyond the fraud of the religion and politics as we've known them. Thank you for listening. Namaste.